Hey guys, Gary Mitchell here. So most of you have had a chance by now to use our new Aviom in-ear monitor system, but just in case you haven't, this is gonna be hopefully a short tutorial about how it works, so let's take a look. So when you come onto the stage and you go to your station, whatever it is, whether you're a vocalist, a guitar player, a drummer, a keyboard player, whatever, when you get here, there you'll see a couple of things. And the first one is this rectangular black box. This is actually the monitor console. And somewhere nearby the monitor console, you will see a headphone jack connected to it that looks like this. You'll also find a black bag a small round black bag that looks like this. This is the first thing that you need to find. Um, and you will also have somewhere nearby a little card with some information about the different components of the monitor system uh, that you can learn about. And on the back, it has some basic tips and tricks for how to get a good mix, as well as how to save your settings. We'll get to all of this stuff in a minute, but the first place you need to start is with this little uh, black bag. You're gonna open up the bag and you're gonna find a couple of things. First of all, you're gonna find a little plastic bag that looks like this, that has some little earbuds in it. We'll get to that. And you'll find your actual headphones. As you can see, this is just a pair of headphones that looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and unwind these and show you what's going on. So I just finished unwinding these headphones. They look all space age and cool, but basically they're just in-ear headphones, the same as you would listen to any kind of music with. So once these guys are hooked together, now it's time to put these in your ears. And I can tell you it's a lot harder than you might think it is. The first time we used these, it took us literally 15 minutes to figure out how they're supposed to go in your ears. I'll try to explain it as best I can. So the way it works is each earbud has the word Shure written on it. That's the brand of the microphone. In order to put it in your ear properly, Shure needs to be readable this way. If Shure is upside down, you're doing it wrong, all right? So you gotta take the Shure thing with the cable facing up like this. And what you do is you stick this in your ear and then you have to wrap the cable around your ear like this. It's a little bit tricky. It takes some getting used to, but I promise that it does work. We've, we've done it. The other thing you need to know is that these earbuds are interchangeable. It's very easy to just kind of twist and pull these off. Uh, people have different size ears and that is what this bag right here is for. Inside this bag, you've got lots and lots of different size earbuds so that you can switch them out. You can find one that's comfortable for your ear that doesn't hurt. Um, you've also got this little tool. You see this little kind of pick looking thing here? Guess what? Let's get real for a second. This little thing is for earwax, okay? We wanna to try to keep these clean at all times. When you're finished using them, and even maybe before you use them, I bought some alcohol wipes so that we can keep them sanitized, so we can keep them clean. But if you don't wanna even deal with that, once you find the earbuds that fit best for you, you can pick, take them off and take them home with you. And that way you're only using the ones that belong to you. Now that you've got your ears in, it's time to talk about the actual console. So everything on the stage that you need to hear has been labeled in one of these channels, all right? Channel one is the kick drum, two is the snare, three is the overhead microphone that gives you the entire drum kit. After that, the electric bass is channel four, the electric guitar is five, keys, acoustic guitar is probably gonna be my guitar. My voice is Gary V, that's channel number eight. After that, we've got the vocals. If you are sitting in the congregation facing the stage, vocal number one is going to be the singer to the far left of the stage closest to the bass amp, okay? That's gonna be vocal number one. Vocal number two is gonna be on this side of the stage, closer to the keyboard. And then if we have a third vocal, that'll be vocal number three. That'll be even further to this side and vocal two will be in the middle. So that here on the console is vocal one, two, three. Again, if you're facing the stage, this is stage left, stage middle, stage right. And then Lorianne has her own channel because she's amazing that way. And then these guys are just left blank. Uh, we're trying to get this to be maybe Chad's vocal and maybe the video or something else like that. So if you need to hear more of something, this is so cool. Let's say you can't hear my voice for some reason. All you have to do is click the channel that I'm on. 
You've got the center knob. All you have to do is this, and I'm louder already in your monitor. Let's say you can't hear the keyboard for some reason. Select the keys, move it up, and I'm loud, and the keyboard is louder, or if it's too loud already, let's say maybe the electric guitar is killing your ears, right? Just select electric guitar, turn them down, you're good to go. Another super cool thing about this is we have a solo button and a mute button. So let's say you're a singer and there's a vocalist, God forbid, that's just really flat and they're stressing you out and you can't handle it. All you have to do is select their channel and hit mute and they go away. You don't have to listen to them anymore, okay? The other thing, let's unmute that. That's, oh, when you mute the channel, by the way, there's a little blinking yellow light that tells you that, that that channel is muted. So if you don't want that, just go ahead and unmute them. You also have a solo button. So maybe you're an electric guitarist and you can't get your tone quite the way that you want it to with all the other noise. You can select your channel, you can solo out, and now you're just listening to you play. Awesome. And that light is blinking here to let you know that that's going on. Now, in addition to being able to control the volume of the individual channels, you also have stereo placement. Stereo placement as in you've got a left earbud and a right earbud, right? So let's say I want to have all of my vocalist, or maybe just vocalist one, because vocal one is going to be standing to my right most of the time. So I want them to literally be just in my right headphone. I'm going to select their channel. I'm going to select stereo placement, and then I'm going to move them. I think that this is to the right, that this is the right. Um, it might actually be this direction, I'm not sure, just right now, I'd have to mess with it and listen and find out. But you have stereo placement control. Uh, let's say if I wanted to just have the keys in my left ear, select keys, stereo placement, move them to the left, and there you go. The other awesome thing about this is you have the ability to save your monitor mix. We have channels one through eight. Notice how they're sort of boxed off here. Those channels are designed for saving your individual monitor mix. So once you've done a Sunday or two and you've got things sounding exactly the way that you want, all you have to do is come over here to this recall button, all right? Uh, and there's, again, there's directions on this little card about the best way to do that. I believe all you have to do, let's see, to save a mix, hold recall mix, and then press a channel. So if I wanna save my mix, all I have to do is I have to hold this button down, and then maybe I'm gonna save mine in channel number five or something. I click channel number five, and that monitor mix is saved. So when I come in here next time and I wanna recall this mix, all I have to do is press recall five, and my settings are back. Now, you may be the second or third person to use this system now, so maybe assume that channel one, two, and three already have uh, monitor mixes saved to them. So maybe shoot for like four, five, six, seven. Uh, I think Carol, when, uh, when she was here, she just went all the way to the end and picked channel number eight. That's up to you. Um, the last thing that I wanted to tell you about is you do have a little bit of control over the treble, the bass, um, enhance. Uh, I'm not sure what that does. It's to enhance the tone, maybe. I think that information is here. But lastly, you have an overall volume knob. This knob makes everything louder. This is the knob to control the volume of the overall uh, console. So be careful with that, because if you get things sounding a certain way and just crank it up, you might break your ears. But if you are a vocalist and you have, let's say you've got yourself all the way up and you still can't hear yourself quite the way that you might want to, maybe you can tweak this a little bit, but first maybe bring everything else down a little bit so that you're not just like overwhelming your ears with like loud noise. And that's basically it. These uh, consoles live here on the stage. They're all attached to their various places. But when you get finished on a Sunday morning, go ahead and unhook your uh, headphones, wind them back up and place them back in your Sure bag along with um, these little guys. Again, if you want to take your individual set of earbuds home with you so that you don't have to worry about anything else, that's great. If not, please do keep them clean. Use this little thingamajig and use uh, the alcohol wipes. And this stuff, these alcohol wipes are, and also I think we're going to store these for right now inside this closet area that is behind uh, the keyboard. You guys have probably all seen this or have been back here before. And as you can see, we've got kind of a little pile of them now from last week. One last thing, if you've never used these before, or even if you have, it does take a little bit of time to get them in, to get used to them, and to get your monitor mixed the way that you want it. So if you're on for a Sunday, please allow maybe an extra 10 or 15 minutes 
uh, before you normally have to be here to come in and get used to this, get the settings the way you want it, get them in your ears, because it does take longer to do this stuff. We've had to learn the hard way the last couple of Sundays that after Chad gets done preaching and we have to come up on the stage, we need an extra couple of minutes to get these things in our ears. So you can either go ahead and put them, start putting them in your ears again when you're still out in the congregation, just sort of waiting to get called up. Make whatever adjustments you need to, but make sure you allow yourself some extra time to deal with this stuff. Thanks as always for being willing to serve on worship team. Let us know if you have any questions. I hope that this video was helpful to you and we'll see you next time.